Good morning, guys. Um, it's a beautiful morning here in sunny Tokyo. Um, and today I wanted to bring you a little, a little technique and uh, riff, which is very useful uh, in slap bass playing. Um, I'll just play you how the riff sounds up to tempo. <laughs> That's the riff up to tempo, um, and you can take this into any key. Um, even in, even in uh, keys which are outside the open strings, it doesn't matter. You don't you don't just have to slap in E or A, or you know, you can slap in any key. So it's a very useful riff. It's a more of the technique that's that's useful, I think. Um, and that technique is what I call thumb hammer uh, technique. And that's what we're going to look at today. Is just doing that. Okay. So what's happening there is um, we're in the key of E to start with, and we're going to go from the seventh, which is D, and then we're going to hammer on to a B, a third below, minor third below, and then we're going to thumb that B, and we're going to pull off to the A, and then back to the B, and then thumb it again, and then back to the D, and then hammer on to an E. That's thumb, hammer, thumb, pull off, hammer, thumb, thumb, hammer, thumb, thumb. Right. Let me go up real close to the camera so you can see what both hands are doing a bit more clearly here. Um, so I'll slow it right down. Uh, you'll notice that I'm playing some dead notes in between. For now, I'll just do it with my thumb, but. It really, I would pop them. So that is the pattern. Um, I have tabbed it out. Uh, you can get the tabs at my website in the member area um, and uh, I found this pattern has been extremely useful in playing not just to, for rock and funk but uh, it's just it's just a very good technique and a pattern to get your fingers used to as well the coordination between the left and right hand It's good. You can take the pack. You can take the pack anywhere on the neck. And use it in any key. Um, you can even start the pattern from different notes as well. Um, so. I mean, there are endless possibilities with, with any of these patterns that, that, that you learn. But anyway, that's it for all intents and purposes today, is just to do it in the key of E and get used to it in that key before you start transposing it.
then you can transpose it to all kinds of other keys you can apply it in all kinds of different ways so anyway there you go that's it hope you enjoy that and have fun playing uh, learning that riff and uh, I'll see you again for another technique lesson sometime soon